welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on what I got for Christmas. I absolutely love watching other YouTubers videos on what I got for Christmas or birthday hauls. That is just right up my street. I love just watching them purely because I like to see what other people got for their birthday or Christmas or it just gives me a little bit of inspiration and quite frankly I am nosy. I'm sure everyone to some extent is a little bit nosy but I just like watching them. So if you don't like watching any of that type of thing I would switch off now and I just wanted to share with everyone what I got. So first up my main present was a desk that my husband bought me from Ikea which is downstairs in the lounge all set up and I've been using it for about a couple weeks now. So I will insert a picture of that right now. My husband also got me a really nice hamper full of goodies. So inside that was this lovely smelling wood wick candle. Um, is that even gonna focus? Er, there we go, that's a bit better. So this is the label for wood wick and this smells amazing. I love wood wick candles. I've used them for good couple of years now. I love cozying up at night and putting on all the candles and just having a nice hot cup of tea or hot chocolate and just cozying up on the sofa. That is just my ideal night sometimes. Um, this is the scent baby powder and it smells amazing. I love this. Obviously my husband bought it for the hamper um, in because we've obviously just had Jackson and thought it was quite appropriate and it also the wick crackles when you burn it. So got this um, reed diffuser which is also from Woodwick and still the same scent which is the He also got me a selection of various gluten free biscuits. I have a mild intolerance and he thought it would be nice to have some really nice luxurious gluten and wheat free biscuits um, which is quite a good thought to be honest because I'm always trying to look for a really nice brand of gluten and wheat free biscuits because if you are wheat intolerant you'll know that most of those type of biscuits are quite dry and a little bit flavourless so um, he got me a selection of them to try. First of all are these Kent and Foster Living Gluten Free Chocolate Chip Crunchy Cookies which look really good. I've not tried these yet but they look very yummy and I really like the packaging. I got these organic chocolate and orange chip cookies which are good as you can see I've already tried these already and they are good and um, I love anything orange flavoured. Um, the Lazy Day Company these are millionaire shortbreads and I've already had one of those which is really good. I've actually had this brand's brand before and they do very yummy variations of different things. This is the same brand and is the Rocky Road which are delicious. Also these farmhouse um, triple chocolate chip cookies which look very yummy. Or these angelic gluten free chocolate chip oat biscuits. They really look good. I also like the packaging. I got this white company seashells candle which smells amazing. I love this. I also got one for my birthday and I was so upset when I had actually burnt all of it. It was such a depressing day but I love this. This is probably one of my favourite smells amongst all of them in the white company and I burn it all the time and like I said I get a little bit upset when I burn it right to the end because they are expensive I suppose for the little one. I think it's £20 for the smallest one but they smell amazing. Um, so if you're ever in the White Company have a sniff of the seashells um, candle and go and have a cheeky purchase because it smells amazing. Also got a collection of these Jack Wills Body Mist um, perfumes. 
this came in a set of three but one of them is in my handbag already they all smell very vanilla sort of floral smell i got these leather driving gloves i had leather driving gloves before and the dog got a hold of them i'm always complaining that I'm, i've got really cold hands in the car because i'm not one of those lucky people who have a heated steering wheel so i got these for christmas and they are very fluffy in the inside and fit like a glove so i will be using them over the next couple weeks because the weather is horrendous. I also got this massive Soap and Glory kit which is just amazing. I haven't used any of it yet because I was waiting um, to do this video but I've been desperate to dig in to start using this. Um, it comes with a body buffer, some pink fluffy socks, a shower cream, a body cream, some sh um, body scrub, some hand cream and some fruit cream so I am very much looking forward to using this that's for sure so maybe one night in the next couple of weeks I'll be able to have a pamper evening and sample all these products so I'm looking forward to that. I got some money for Christmas and I went into Aberdeen in the Christmas sales recently and I thought I could purchase some items. I hate Christmas sales. I don't know what it is about it. I get a bit stressed. I get a bit anxious. People are pretty much fighting over one item and most likely is not going to be in your size which is very frustrating. It's get pretty peeved off um, when it comes to Christmas shopping um, in the sales and I like nothing better than just cutting through all the sales and going to the main part of the shop as I can't cope but I did manage to pick up some items I picked this up from let me just move all this out of the way this furry waistcoat which is so nice I've been looking for one of these for quite a while and I wasn't really sure it was my style but I have to say I'm building up my mummy wardrobe. I kind of have to dress up a little bit more if I'm going out and about. So I purchased this from Primark and I think I actually got it in sale for £10 which I thought was very good because I think it was 25 normally. So it's, as you can see, quite furry um, and then at the back it has like a chunky knit um, and it goes down to my knees and it's very cosy and very good for this type of weather that we're having. I also picked up this light um, knit wear sleeveless cardigan I suppose. It goes down to your knees and it has sort of chunky and skinny grey panelling on it. This is really nice because I thought I could wear a long sleeve top with it and pop that on the top if it was a bit of a chilly day and I could almost get into spring with it as well. Picked up these long sleeved tops in various colours. This is just a brown and black because I think you can just never have enough long sleeve tops just to throw on. Got a grey and white and a white and black striped one. I also picked up this which I think is pretty cool. This is from a company called Tea and Cake and I kind of just went for it just as a throw on t-shirt but it says girl at the front. I don't know if you can see that yet. Yeah. Girl at the front and gang at the back and what I thought was pretty cool which I didn't notice till afterwards is on the label is a recipe on how to make a cake which I thought was pretty cool. It's from Topshop also from Topshop and my last item that I picked up was this super cozy hoodie and um, this I don't know if you can see the material but it is so soft and I thought I could just wear this if I was having a skinny jeans and jumper day and it was freezing outside I could just pop this on because it is so cozy and warm and um, so it's just like a grey and it says sorority sisters and um, which is actually like a cult or something back in the day but 
I just thought it was pretty cool. And on the back, it says sorority sisters as well. I picked up the medium, but I probably should have got the small because the medium is pretty baggy on me. But I always think a baggy jumper is kind of what you need. That is all what I got for my Christmas, which is great because I was very lucky and I didn't really expect as much because well you know you're getting older and you don't really get as much as you did when you were a child. Like this video, give a thumbs up and subscribe, come follow me on various social medias, all the links of that for that will be below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!